Welcome everybody to the Photoshop Tip of the Week. I am Woody Walters and you're here for that tip. So get a pair of seat belts and strap yourself in because I got something super exciting to show you today. Hey, I was doing a Woody's World and I was playing with, with brushes and everybody knows that if you press F5, you get your brush window up here. If you come up here, you go to window, you can go down to brush settings. You need to do that because we need this box right here, brush settings. We need this box. And I have one of my fine art brushes, and this is from the fine art uh, brush collection. And you can see that you can rotate this using this wheel here, and that controls the angle of the brush. But then I was playing, and so I got this soccer player here, and this was an older image of mine, and I at one time painted white here because I, I couldn't mask it because it was flat and so I used the particle brushes and I painted white in here and broke it up so this is just like masking you can see I got a little bit of mask here going but I broke it up over here and a little bit on his foot and his leg so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a hue and saturation and I'm going to increase that saturation to about 53 we'll go 54 I'm going to say okay so there's the color of my guy now watch this I'm going to make one new layer. Boom. But now I'm on my brush. And I've got my fine art brush. And I'm going to come over here to shape dynamics. And I'm going to set the, the size of the jitter to 60, 50 to 60 something. It doesn't matter really. We'll go 61. The angle of jitter, which is usually is at zero, I'm going to switch to about 62. So we'll go 61 there. And then we're going to click on this flip X. Flip X, and now I'm going to hold down my Alt bar, or my Option bar, and I'm going to click a blue. And I want a pretty dark blue, so I'm going to go right to there. And now I'm going to switch my setting, and I want to go to a yellow. So I'm going to click on my swatches, I'm going to move my bar up to yellow, and I'm going to get the brightest yellow that I can possibly get. Boom. Now I did a whole Woody's World on this, so... so if you're not a member of the exclusive group, you need to watch that because there's a lot more information here that I'm going to give to you in the exclusive group that's not on this Photoshop tip. But watch what happens here. So we got that going on. I'm going to come over here to Color Dynamics. I'm going to click that on. And on Color Dynamics, I'm going to throw my foreground to background jitter to 100%. It's usually at about right here. I'm going to take it and give it all the way 100%. My hue jitter, and I'm going to go to 100% as well. Now, let me explain. The foreground to background jitter is going to switch between these two swatches. So when it paints, it's going to switch between that blue and yellow. Because I'm doing my hue or, or my hue jitter it's going to switch colors it's going to switch hues on it and then i'm also going to increase the saturation the brightness i'm going to set to three my purity it's usually set at zero i'm going to set that to about 50 percent so we'll go right about 53 now watch what happens here i'm on underneath this main layer so i'm going to click one time and i'm going to drag and when i drag look at what it does Tell me, is that not cool? Look at that. That is just one brush stroke. One brush stroke. I'm going to do that again. This time we're just going to take it from here. Look at that. Don't like the colors? You can always do Control U. Bring up your hue and saturation and then play with your hue and saturation colors. You can get these to be any colors you want them to be. And it's just so cool. It's just so cool. So we're going to undo that. Control Z. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And we're going to do that again. Do, 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 do. Look at that, people. And that's just using one of the fine art brushes. This is just amazing. Now we're going to switch the swatches. And switching the swatches will also switch which way it changes those colors. Look at that. Look at that. This is the most amazing thing since chopped bread. If this doesn't give you a photogasm, I don't know what will. you you, you got to just sit down and play with this. If you want to, take your hue jitter and reduce that down. Now, it's not going to change the colors as much. You see? And so, by playing with your hue jitter, you can really change those colors. 
Look at that. I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller still. And we bring it down to about right there. Now I'm just going to paint. Look at that. I'm going to come over here to that side. And look at that. People, this is, you're going to have a blast with this. So I mentioned in the post on the exclusive group, and I believe I also mentioned it on Learn Photoshop, that I'm going to release a whole new set of brushes. And chances are you already have them. This is what I'm talking about. So if you have my, my fine art brushes, my fire brushes, my powder brushes, my particle brushes, my lightning brushes, anything here, you can do this technique with. And it's just going to be mind-boggling all that you can do. It's just turning on those jitters. And so we're going to go through it again. We go to shape dynamics. We move it up to 60. We go to angle. We move that up to 60. We click on flip X. And this time we're going to flip on flip Y. Next we come down to our, that's shape dynamics. Next we come down to our color dynamics. We take our foreground and background. We put it to 100. Hue jitter, put it to 100. Saturation, put it to anywhere between 50 to 60. And... If you want, put it to 100. We're going to even take purity and put it to 100. So this time we're going to do all 100s. And we're just going to see that. Look at that. That's a little bit too saturated for me. I'm going to take my purity back down to about 1. And take my saturation down to about, uh, let's go 64. We're going to redo that. And I'm just going to hit that again. Look at that. That's just amazing. Think of what you can be doing here. And again, people, if you're not a member, you, you, you need to become a member because this issue of Woody's World, I really go in depth here and we do a lot more things that, that are really cool, that add a lot to it. But that, that I'm saving for the exclusive group and the members only. So be sure to check that out. So if you're not a member, join inside the exclusive group. You, you'll... The, You'll really appreciate it. It will lift your art and your Photoshop knowledge tremendously. We, we, we do Photoshop on request. We do the Photoshop tip of the week. We do 15-minute makeover every, every month. It's just something that you need to get into. Elevate your, your um, photography. Elevate your images. And so till next week, shoot from the heart and shoot with passion. We will see you here at the Photoshop tip of the week.